This is your Game of Thrones news update for the past week, where I take what I consider to be the most important Game of Thrones news for the past seven-ish days, usually it's like eight or nine, and I report it to you. The winner for last news videos giveaway will be announced at the end of this video, along with a new giveaway. Warning, there are spoilers in this video, so if you do not want to be spoiled for season seven of Game of Thrones, please don't watch. As well, this is my Halloween set, so normally I don't have a bird skeleton in a cage. I'm, I'm not that weird. First, I've been talking about the big battle that's going to happen in season seven for a few news videos now, and even Amelia Clark confirmed that yes, there's going to be a huge battle in season seven of Game of Thrones, which makes sense because Daenerys and Cersei are going to clash at one point. Well, originally it was thought this big battle would be filmed in Malpradia, Spain, but now there's reports that it's actually an ambush. It's been stated that the scene will have wagons heading from a CGI castle and are attacked by enemy soldiers. What's odd about this is 500 extras are being used for it, which is a lot for a simple ambush. There are also reports that a Lannister will be involved in this area. As the Unsullied and Dothraki are also filming here, it's likely Tyrion will be in the fight. There's also rumors that someone falls from a dragon into water, so let your imaginations soar. In the area suspected to be the Dragon Pit in Season 7, it's been reported that a conflict will happen there, which I'm really hoping doesn't mean that one of the dragons are going to die, as we've seen, or rather, read in the books. Some dragon killing has happened in the Dragon Pit. But it does make sense that there will be a conflict at the Dragon Pit, otherwise why have it, unless they're just gonna show Daenerys putting her dragons in there, but I doubt they would just have a set for that if they weren't using it for some type of conflict. Next, it's been confirmed that Lord Glover will be back for season seven of Game of Thrones, which is nice because Jon needs more allies at his side. And I would hope that Glover would be there as he just helped declare Jon the king in the north. As well, Maester Walken will still be at Winterfell and he has been seen on set. And you know that guy, that's the guy that very, very eagerly agreed with Ramsay that yes, in fact, poor Roos was poisoned by his enemies. How did he die? Poisoned by his enemies. That guy. Speaking of the North, photos have been shown that Brienne, Pod, Jon, Sansa, and Davos will all likely be in scenes together again, which is so exciting. I'm happy Brienne and Pod made it back safely to the North. Sansa's supposed body double, Megan Parkinson, was also reportedly seen, but there isn't confirmation yet if she's actually Sophie's body double. It seems a bit unlikely. In a picture, we see that she's wearing a sword and isn't dressed as nicely as Sansa would be. There's also a little boy in the pictures, and there's no confirmation on who he is yet. The only thing that is coming to mind for most people right now is the girl and the little boy are part of the casting call for a high-stakes scene with lead cast members, which I reported on, I think, a month and a half ago. This casting called for a 16-year-old Northern girl and a 10-year-old Northern boy. Those two could pass for those ages, and they were seen with leading characters, John Davos, and so on. So it's likely that they actually might be there for that scene. They've also been filming in the quarry in Northern Ireland that they've used in the past for the wall and the exterior of Castle Black, which means we're definitely getting wall scenes next season, which makes sense. Even though John's not there, we have Bran who is going to the wall. And besides that, the others have to breach through the wall this season. Poor Ed. <laughs> So I am super duper excited that they are filming the wall scenes right now, or at least some of them. In Zumaya, Spain, Game of Thrones crew have been creating battlements along the walkway of the beach. The battlements are believed to be for a scene being filmed in Essos. There's also speculation that these battlements might be for a battle happening in Dorne, but most of the locations that have been announced or spotted for filming don't really have to do with Dorne, so it seems that Dorne isn't going to be in season seven as much, which kind of makes sense because I don't really think we need to show battles happening in Dorne, especially with the Tyrell forces and the Martell Sand Snake forces already joining up with Daenerys. Okay, for this next part, I don't want to start the hype. I really don't. But Amelia Clark teased that she was going for a dragon ride on a windy day, and in that same location, Jorah Mormont's actor was spotted by a fan. Could they be filming in the same location and their characters actually don't come across each other? 
Yeah, sure. Is it already my headcanon that Jorah and Daenerys meet up in Season 7 and they have a lover's embrace? Of course it is. There's also an ongoing rumor that Devin Oliver is playing Rhaegar Targaryen. As he mentioned, he had a role on Game of Thrones, and he does match the prince's description pretty well. And he looks really good with platinum long blonde hair. I would believe Cersei and other women threw themselves at him. There's also more confirmation about what we've already been hearing. HBO, as of right now, doesn't have any sort of prequel planned. According to HBO's programming president, they aren't actively investigating where to take the franchise next, and while there are things that sound interesting, they have no writers assigned or anything. They also stated that it will be about finding the right property and the right writer for a spin-off or prequel. He reaffirmed what David and Dan have been saying, those two need a break and likely won't be doing it though HBO would love for them to be involved in some way. I also liked his little jab at David and Dan wanting to end the series a bit earlier than what HBO actually wanted. He said, in a perfect world, Game of Thrones would keep going and we wouldn't have to deal with any of this. Lastly in Game of Thrones news, I couldn't go to the New York Comic Con this year, but they released a bunch of cool merchandise for Game of Thrones. My favorite so far is the Hand of the Queen pin, which is a replica of the one given to Tyrion by Daenerys. There's also a three-eyed raven snow globe, a new Game of Thrones coloring book, and the George R. Martin box. This box comes in three box types, special edition, limited edition, and ultra limited edition. They contain items such as an exclusive t-shirt, collectibles, a reproduction of Robert Baratheon's will, living language of the Dothraki, an iron coin of the Faceless Men, a maester's journal, silk map of King's Landing, and so on. I'll put the link in the video description below in case you want to check it out. And the George R. R. Martin box is being released as part of the 20th year anniversary celebration of the Game of Thrones book being published. And I believe for the first thousand pre-orders of the box, they will be giving you a Stark ornament, which is Pretty cool. Also, the company Valerian Steel has recreated the book versions of Dario Sword and Oathkeeper. These also have a limited run, and I'll put the links in the video description below. In stalking old men news, George R. R. Martin revealed that he has signed a couple hundred of the special anniversary Game of Thrones books that will be coming out on October 18th. And he really made it sound like he was forced to do it because he said his manager twisted his arm, and so he decided to sign a couple hundred of them. The catch is you have to go through his shop and order it, and I'll put the link in the video description below, and you can pre-order it right now so that you have a chance to get one of the signed copies. He did say that he will not be doing any type of personalization, nor will he inscribe any of it. It's just straight going to be his signature. George also stated that if this anniversary edition of A Game of Thrones sells really well, they're going to do the same thing for the next books as their anniversaries come out. And that means that they're going to get a lot of cool extra illustrations, which extra pictures from the A Song of Ice and Fire universe is always a win for me, so I'm really hoping that this sells well. Lastly, George remarked on being declared the fourth most powerful writer in Hollywood by The Hollywood Reporter by saying, I seem to recall dimly I was number seven a few years ago, so I guess I'm getting more powerful by the day. Soon, I will rule the world. So that is your Game of Thrones news update for the past week-ish. I will be doing a new Game of Thrones news video every week that there is enough news. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and come back for more videos. So giveaway, the winner from last news videos giveaway is Chicken Lover. He slayed me with hype. Seriously, I just, hype is the easiest way to get to me. New giveaway for your chance to win a $15 gift card to Amazon. All you have to do is like this video, so give a thumbs up, and then write in the comment section below which character do you want to see die for season seven of Game of Thrones? And then I will go ahead and pick a winner and I will announce it in the next news video, which will likely just be next week. So have a fabulous weekend.
that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy.